negative reps. In this video, I'm going to point out to you what negative reps are, how they're beneficial, and how they allowed me to push through plateaus whenever I get to them in my weightlifting. Let's get into it. Good morning. I'm Andrew Bullock from Big T's Fitness. I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel where we focus on weight loss, fitness, and an overall better lifestyle. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all our videos. Now, when it comes to reps, there are so many questions. Doing them fast, doing fast reps, doing slow reps, doing heavy reps, doing light reps with a ton of reps in between. There are so many questions. And in this video, I'm going to answer you. And the answer is quality. Quality of the repetition. Come on, you and I both have seen these guys in the gym. What's that, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm only curling like 70 pounds in each hand. Oh, yeah, getting that burn. Ugh. First of all, I want to go on record by saying that I do not think one of those reps that I was just making fun of is an actual rep. Sorry. Or when it comes to the guys that think this is the only way to do a squat. Now before somebody goes and gets their feelings hurt, there is benefits to hit cardio, but we're focusing on the negative here. We need to be more negative, people. Oh, being negative. That is totally something I can get behind because I don't like working out because it makes me feel bulky and it makes me ugh, just sweat so much and it messes up my hair. I don't like it. Okay, I promise not to ever do that again. I'm sorry. Now, what I'm talking about is eccentric and constric concentric, why is that such a hard word, movements. So what it's going to be is it's going to be constriction, so concentric, and then the lengthening of that muscle is eccentric. And so many people will go to school like this and just let it drop. And this, you're wasting all of this movement all the way down that you could be still engaging the bicep, the tricep, the deltoid, all of that. You're literally just throwing it away by letting it just drop. All right, now back to the title of the video, negative reps. Why are these so important? It, it, it is the one type of movement that helps you not create deficits. Deficits are weaker muscle groups that are supposed to be engaged while doing a movement. So like, for squats. If you're just going like this, just dropping down to a squat, you're not engaging your hamstrings, your glutes, any of those things until the very, 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 very end of that movement, until you're almost completely standing. Those don't kick in. But if you slow it down and work on the eccentric movement, so the lengthening of the quadriceps, but you do it slower, you're gonna feel that engagement so, so much more. And this is just a squat. That's all it is, no body weight squat, but the slower you do it, the more controlled you do it, you can actually start to feel yourself teetering back and forth a little bit so you can feel where imbalances are. And you can fix those before you start throwing a bunch of weight on your back, and then that could actually produce injuries. All right, one little trick I like to do to help me keep this cadence and make sure that I'm not rushing through eccentric movements is to use a metronome. That's it, at 60 beats per minute. All right, so I'm gonna use my little metronome app on here with my speakers, and I'm just gonna set it to 60. So this is what it sounds like. So I want you to practice doing five beats down, five beats up. And you're gonna start feeling more, more and more muscle groups recruiting all the way through. Wait, don't go. I still wanted to point out how this can help you overcome plateaus when you hit it when you're weightlifting. 
the art of growing more muscle and recruiting more muscle is time under tension. So with that simple little squat we just did, a little air squat, no weights, no anything, we just increased the amount of time by at least 10 times the time that those muscles are contracting just by slowing down, working on the eccentric movement on the way down and the constriction movement going up. So that is how it'll help you. And that's the same with bench press. Just do your bench press slow down and slow up. That's it. You're increasing that time under tension and that is what helps those muscle fibers get damaged so that they can repair and get bigger and stronger. And that's it. We just went through what negative reps are, how they're beneficial, and how it helped me overcome plateaus. All right, question of the day. What simple movement did you use this trick on to change it into a super movement for yourself? If you found this video useful, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, turn on notifications so that you can stay up to date on all my videos. Where here at Big T's Fitness, we focus on weight loss, fitness, and the overall better lifestyle. You guys may go out and make today awesome. You have a great day.